Daniel Robinson was working his dream job in Arizona. After graduating with a geology degree from the College of Charleston, Daniel took a job in his field in the Phoenix area of Arizona. At age 24, he was doing exactly what he wanted. Daniel had a love for all things outdoors and loved to be adventurous and try new things. Daniel, the youngest of three children, was extremely close to his family, speaking to his parents back in South Carolina almost every day. On June 23rd of this year, 2021, Daniel went off to a job site near Buckeye, Arizona. He was with a coworker, Ken, when he abruptly waved goodbye and left. Ken thought it was odd and checked in with the supervisors to see if Daniel was headed off to a different site. They weren't aware of any other job sites he would be going to. Daniel would never be seen or heard from again. Where is Daniel Robinson? Hello, and welcome to this episode of Where Are They? Our podcast goal is to bring awareness to missing persons cases, and the one we're going to talk about today is a fairly recent case that has just started to pick up some momentum in the media. The hope is that with a continued push, answers can be found. We so appreciate all your support of the show and the cause we are working for bringing awareness to unsolved missing persons cases. This case of Daniel Robinson is quite recent. He vanished from Arizona on June 23rd of this year. And because of a father who is determined to find his son and do whatever it takes, his case has started to see a little bit of news coverage. The case itself and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance are really strange and bizarre. Daniel had grown up in South Carolina and is the youngest of four children. He has an older brother and older twin sisters. He was always a smart kid and had even taught himself how to play the trombone and the French horn as a child. Daniel was also born without a right hand, and although he had the option to wear a prosthetic, he always preferred not to. He told his mother that he just wanted to be himself and he never let it hold him back or he never let it bother him that he was missing a hand. Daniel Robinson, at age 24, was living his dream. After graduating in 2019 with a geology degree from the College of Charleston, he was offered a job with Matrix New World Engineering in the Phoenix, Arizona area. He was excited and thrilled to have the position, even though it meant moving away from his family. Daniel still kept in regular contact with his family back home in South Carolina, speaking to them daily. 
In May and June of 2021, Daniel did start acting a little bit off, according to those around him that knew him. For example, people would find him sitting and staring off into nowhere in complete silence for long periods of time. He also started telling his family that he met a woman and was in love with her. In reality, this was a woman he had delivered groceries to when he was working his side job with Instacart. This woman had invited him in, but apparently just to put the groceries down. Daniel did start pursuing this woman to the extent that at one point she filed a police report against him as she said she wasn't interested. On the morning of June 23rd, 2021, Daniel went to work at a job site in Buckeye, Arizona. A co-worker, Ken, was there with Daniel also. Ken said Daniel mentioned that he was really tired and Ken thought his behavior seemed a little odd, and that was confirmed to him when Daniel just abruptly waved goodbye, got into his Jeep Renegade, and drove off. Even though that was the first time Ken had actually met Daniel in person, he said his behavior that morning started out normal, but then suddenly Daniel started acting distracted and just staring off. The behavior was so different that Ken said he actually looked into Daniel's eyes to see if his pupils were dilated, thinking maybe it was drugs. Daniel, however, had told him that he was just really tired. That same morning, Daniel had texted one of his sisters saying that he had an emergency. When she tried to reach him after that, he wasn't answering his phone. Ken was a little worried about Daniel and went off to see if he could see where he had gone. No one else at the company had heard from him. And when Ken found Jeep tracks that led off into the desert, he was immediately concerned. He tried to search for Daniel in his Jeep, but found nothing. That same day, the family had begun to worry because they couldn't reach him. And there was that odd text that the sister had received. Since that was so out of character for him... And learning that he hadn't finished out his workday at work, they reported him missing that very day. The Buckeye Police Department did begin searching the area. They brought in ATVs, search teams, and even searched by helicopter. They searched a total of 70 square miles around the job site where he was last seen. There was no sign of Daniel or his Jeep anywhere. Family members immediately joined in the search efforts traveling from South Carolina out to Arizona. Police had advised Daniel's father, David Robinson, to check Daniel's social media accounts for any activity or maybe some clues as to his whereabouts. But Mr. Robinson found that Daniel had deleted all of his Instagram photos. No clues or evidence would be found during all those searches. However, On July 19th, almost a month after Daniel had vanished, his Jeep was found crashed and turned on its side just four miles from the job site where he was last seen. So the question bears asking, how long was the Jeep there? Law enforcement claimed to have searched that area thoroughly in the weeks following Daniel's disappearance. Remember, they claimed to have searched 70 square miles, and his Jeep was found four miles away. That same day that the Jeep was found, David Robinson hired a private investigator to help in the search for Daniel. The investigator, Jeff McGrath, immediately hones in on the crashed Jeep. He is a known expert in vehicle crash reconstruction, and he notices a few interesting things. All of Daniel's personal belongings, including clothing, were found in or near the Jeep. His wallet and phone were found inside the Jeep, and his clothing was piled up outside of the Jeep. And he would actually find a sock about three miles away from the Jeep Renegade. He noticed some damage to the vehicle that was inconsistent with the area in which it was crashed. For instance, there was some red paint transfer on this black Jeep with nothing red being in sight. And after analyzing the black box, they learned something else shocking. The car actually crashed multiple times 
and in fact had been driven over 10 miles after it had crashed in the airbags deployed. Not only that, the ignition had been cranked an additional 46 times. But even with all of this information in hand, the police still have announced that they don't believe foul play was involved. And I do have a lot of questions about his behavior in the weeks leading up to his disappearance. Number one, what was the true nature of the relationship with the woman he proclaimed to have been in love with? She claimed they had no relationship at all. Was it all in Daniel's head? But remember, we're only hearing one side of the story. Number two, why was he acting so odd the morning that he would disappear? And was he actually acting odd. Remember, Ken, his co-worker, had met him for the first time that day. And number three, what was the reason for the emergency text that he would send to his sister? There's so many baffling questions in Daniel's case. But if no foul play was involved, where is Daniel Robinson? Did he perhaps have a mental break and wander off into the desert? But how has nobody found him? Was there something else going on in Daniel's life that was causing his behavior to be a little bit different and erratic in the weeks leading up to his disappearance? Did it have anything to do with this woman that he had told people he was in love with? Daniel's father has continued to lead searches that he has organized himself. He does not feel the authorities are putting enough effort into finding his son. To date, Daniel's father has led over nine organized searches in the desert, conducted by himself and other volunteers. The family has also set up a website pleasehelpfinddaniel.com and is offering a reward to information that leads them to Daniel. The family also has a GoFundMe set up, which is linked on that page. Funds are going towards the fee for the private investigator and hotel travel fees for the family to remain in Arizona. Since Daniel has gone missing, his father has spent the entire time in Arizona looking for his son. Daniel Robinson is described as a black male, 5 foot 8 inches tall, and weighing approximately 160 pounds at the time of his disappearance. He is also missing a right hand. You can submit tips on the family website, pleasehelpfinddaniel.com, or you can call or text the family at 803-200-7994. Please share Daniel's story. He has to be out there somewhere, and everyone in the area of Buckeye and Phoenix should be on alert. I hope this case continues to see the traction that it's picked up in the media recently, and I hope the family can have answers soon. Thank you, as always, for listening to Daniel Robinson's story and supporting the mission of the Where Are They podcast. We are going to watch this case very closely, and if more information does come out, we may put a longer episode up on our regular channel. We will be back again next week with more Where Are They episodes, and until then, stay safe and hug your loved ones. Hi, this is Jennifer Lee Hoffman. 